they obviously got to get approval. For yeah. That, right? So if you ever kill a boss, obviously always you got to get approval. Yeah. But in this also in this case, from what I heard, uh, <laughs> yeah. Gotti instigated um, had a lot to do with the insti- instigating of the war of this war because oh, um, yeah because they also at this time they killed. See, there was there was a factions going on out there. Yeah. So they also they also tried to kill uh, Salemi at the same. I think it was the same day. Really? Yeah. Same day or the next day, whatever. Yeah. Who was the sitting boss and boss? He was a, he was the boss. And so the, they were trying to take out. So the they were going to take him out. Yeah. But then you got to see these guys oh, were the crew that they had in Boston was you know the you know. A, the, a real crew, yeah. like it was J.R. Russo, yeah. Bobby Caruso. Yeah. There was that crew, you know, those old timers were old time gangsters. Yeah. Just like when you hear like, you know, so um, when they took them out, what they wanted was they wanted to have the boss instead of being in Providence in Boston. You know, want to take the take power, the power you know, kind of like Lucchese's the, Brooklyn versus the Bronx. Yeah. Similar, you know, because it was always uh, it was politics and shit. Yeah. Right. And at that some point, um, Louis Menacchio, uh and the, you know, was the boss and, uh, you know, everyone liked him. Um, you know, he was a nice guy. I sat with him dozens of times uh, throughout the, uh, you know, with Bruno, I sat with yeah, him. And then after yeah. with Bruno, I sat with him. I'll tell all those stories about sit downs. What year, him. around what year, what time was Grosso killed? 1989. Oh, wow. So yeah. this is before. And then, yeah. you know what? They were short-lived. Their reign was short-lived because shortly after that, they, I mean, they had a big presence. Yeah. The Patriarch was, was like, it wasn't that they were a small family. They had a big presence throughout Connecticut. Yeah. So uh, right shortly after that, they all got arrested. It was like, a, the they guys, got I mean, yeah, there was like, I don't know, I don't know, 15 guys in the Hartford area, yeah. another yeah. 12 guys in the Boston. I mean, there yeah. was a big, big indictment. So it kind of like crushed that. It didn't kill the family. Yeah. The Boston family was still had, you know, soldiers and everything like that. But the Connecticut area kind of like got decimated. Yeah, I mean, there was still at, you know guys in the area, but I mean, yeah. they had they had a little army there. Yeah. You know, with uh, with associates, and they had a good they had a good crew there. They had it was uh, they were involved in a lot of the um, the rackets, you know, garbage and yeah. the unions and the, the typical you know. I was friends with a lot of the younger guys, yeah. you know, coming up. This is yeah. when I was younger, and yeah. then I met them as I got older. Yeah, I was thinking about this actually because um, you, you know, what is it? Um, opportunity meets hard work, right? Is how people kind of succeed. And you were in that life, and you got married at what? Twenty three, twenty five, twenty five. So you had like, and you were a young guy, right? Six hundred people at your wedding. A lot of serious right. people there. So you were an up and comer at that point. Right. You weren't like, like, you know, you meet a lot of guys and like, oh, oh, you do not have that big of a wedding with the people that attended being nobody at 25, right? So you were an up and comer, right? So a lot of the indictments went down with the patriarchas, how they kind of got beat up. And even in Connecticut, the Cavacantes that were, I think, in um, New Haven or another area, they got beat up. And a lot of these old timers started going away and started getting like arrested. <clears throat> Did that kind of help you, like help you in your area and maybe expand a little bit or maybe be a little freer how did a lot of those indictments did it help you hurt you or did it really matter for me growing up it didn't matter because i was a young kid at the time so my 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 stuff that i was doing is you know major marijuana dealer got it some cocaine you know sports gambling long trucking but it didn't it didn't um affect me because uh yeah lefty is my man yeah good that's when we go and go do our hits we're gonna (laughs) in in the way I got my guns. couple of hitmen. There we know? go. So that's how you got to kill them today. You got to have, you know, the verbal assault. Yeah, you know, you have to. Um, no, but what I'm saying, but even, but yeah. even you were, you were on the street essentially since 2010, essentially, right? 2010, yeah. But but what I'm saying is, like, you were still around from you know, 1990. You had a, what a 20, let's say a 20 year run, right? You had a run, and you elevated why a lot of these other families were either arrested or on the decline. I can't imagine that made it a little easier for you or you took advantage of the situation and kind of built out and saying when about from 90 to 2010 you know yeah. nice you know I, I i i was my own making my own money correct, so correct. It was, you know it's not that i'm you know uh better than anyone yeah. i just knew how to make money yeah, your business and i was uh yeah. no slouch on the streets so when you've got that combination then you're going to uh be successful and it wasn't like I had to uh, report. Waterbury, you're right. Yeah, report Sorry. anything with yeah. uh, 
Um, I, you know, I got around Bruno afterwards. Yeah. The stuff I did with him, yeah, yeah. Uh, sports, loan try. But you know, if I was betting with a guy in Connecticut, you know what I mean, and yeah. and I'm doing things, I don't, I'm not telling him that. Or if yeah. I'm doing, you know, you know. So there was, um, but the uh, the rackets that I was doing mostly were it didn't affect me who made who was made or who got it because you were dealing with mostly marijuana and that kind of stuff yeah i mean and they won't sit down on a drug beef if there were if there's a sit down and there's drugs involved you're not going to get a I made mean, like these guys want to want to sit down to read got it to resolve that and that I, there's so many stories with that happened with that over drugs and they couldn't sit down about it you couldn't even talk about it, it was got it what were your biggest three earns I know you did a lot of different stuff. If top three earning for you, what, what were the three areas you made your money? Well, different times. Like, throughout the 90s, it was definitely marijuana. Got it. You know, and then, you know, I didn't really give a shit. I mean, how much can you make loan shark? You yeah. put, put 100000 out at, yeah. say, you're getting three points solid. Yeah. I mean, you're getting 3000 a week. Yeah. Now, if you got partners, I mean, you got to have, like, a million on the street. If, you, if you're chopping money. it yeah. up, you know. Yeah. So yeah. I mean, I would, to me, that's not a lot of money. Yeah. Yep. The marijuana was uh, the money. Now, the marijuana was was the main thing. Yep. But when you when you have a like say a piece of a pie and, and you got a slice here, a slice here, a slice. Yeah. You know, you got loan shark. Correct. You got numbers. You got sports game. Yeah. You got legitimate business. You got Joker poker. Correct. And you had it all out. You, um, you know, yeah. bars and, yeah. and, and things. And so yeah. you got a little bit coming. The Correct. biggest one was definitely the marijuana. Um, there was always um, scores that that came with that that business major scores yeah you know hundreds of thousands of dollars in in you know short months, periods you know, yeah and some you know sometimes it's just me by myself with that yeah. or maybe another guy so there was a oh, lot shit, of bg thank you brother there was a lot of we'll um, use it on cigars thank you i appreciate that by the way and so does anthony but af- afterwards i would have you know i had a big numbers business that 